Hey kids, and welcome to another episode of 12 Years of Advent, where it's Kidmas throughout this whole year's run. And for those of you who are Tracy Beaker fans, I'm doing the story of Tracy Beaker in this episode. Telling you about it, that is. What is the story of Tracy Beaker, for those who don't know? Well, it's a children's TV series that started on the BBC in 2002. And it tells the story of Tracy Beaker, a 10-year-old girl who's brought back to her children's home when her foster parents find out they're having a baby and can't foster her anymore. And from there, the Avengers go from annoying the uh, new girl Justine every chance she gets to meeting Cam Lawson a reporter who eventually fosters her by the end of series one. Um, now, the show itself ran until 2006. And saw Tracy Beaker from the age of 10... To the age of 14. As she evolved. Throughout that. Or maybe to the age of 15. As she evolved throughout the series. It ran for five series. In total. 120 episodes. And a made for TV movie. Tracy was played by Danny Harmer throughout the series. And now some of the other kids we meet in the series include her ex-best friend Louise. Justine Littlewood, her enemy. Ryan and Zach. Adele. And Peter Ingham. And and Tracy's best friend, who doesn't live in a in a care home, but lives in a nice house with his parents, Ben. That's Ben Battenboozy. No, I'm not kidding. That is his. That is his surname, Battenboozy. Um. <laughs> and also, some of the other kids we meet in later series include Lollum Bouncer and Jackie later in series one. You know, that's in series three, sorry. Um, Layla, Michael. Crash, whose first name is actually Liam. There's just a whole slew of characters we meet, kids and adults, mainly care workers. And yes, the social worker herself, Elaine the Pain Boyack. Okay, now, the care home itself is run by... About, well, three different main care workers throughout the course of the series. We have Jenny Edwards, who's there in series one and two, as the main care worker. She's then replaced in series three by Shelley Appleton. And she's there for series three. Okay, there are four of them, because a man named Sid runs the home in Series 4. And Mike Milligan, who starts off as just a care worker in the home in Series 1, is the head care worker in Series 5. 
and he goes on to be the head care worker at Elm Tree House in the follow-up series, which we're not going to talk about here because this is just about the story of Tracy Beaker. Now, the made-for-TV movie is set in between series three and four, hence why Shelley is still the head care worker at the home during the events of the movie. And I forgot, at the end of series two, Ben's aunt and uncle foster Tracy. Okay. Now, if you're new to the idea of this sort of thing on TV, then I do recommend if you're kids that you might actually like the series, go and give just the first episode a watch. And if you don't like it, then... It doesn't matter. It's not for everyone. But that's it for this episode. Join me again tomorrow for another nostalgic look back at a Power Rangers series. This time, Power Rangers Zio. Until then, thanks for watching. And be good, for goodness sake.